Welcome to a free tips and tricks learning video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor Richard Rost. In today's lesson we're going to cover tracking student attendance in classes using action queries. One of my customers sent me an email saying that he has to track attendance for students in his class and he wants to be able to have a list of students and then type in the date and just simply go down and check off which students were in attendance. And since he has to do it every single day, ease of entry is a must. So here's how I would solve this problem. First, I've created a blank database called student attendance. Let's create a table for our students real quick. Tables, new, design view, then I'll hit OK. Student ID, which is an auto number. Now normally I would put a lot of data in here like first name, last name, address, all the things I would need. But for now, I'll just put in here student name as a text field. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here a temp attendance field. I'm going to make that a yes, no value. Basically, each day, I want to see my list of students with a checkbox that I can just check off for that day to see whether or not they're in class. Then what I'll do is I'll use some action queries to move that information into a historical table. Let's create that historical table. Now, let's save this. I'm going to hit Save, and I'll save this as my student T for student table. Of course, access yells. There's no primary key defined. I'll hit Yes and Access turns the student ID into my primary key field. We cover that in Access 101. I'll close this down. Now let's create a table to save that historical data. Every day I'm going to put in here whether or not the student was there that day. So here let's say we've got uh, Joe and Bill and Susie and Mark and Tom. Right, I got five students. All right, so each day I'll come down in here and check off whether or not they were in class. Now, I can't just leave that in here for every day. This is just for today. So we need a table to store that information. So let's go back to Tables, New, Design View. All right, this will be my attendance table. So attendance, ID, auto number, that's meaningless. But now we've got the student ID, that's a number that's going to relate back to our student table. The date, now I don't just want to use the word date in here because date is a reserved word. So I'm going to call this attendance date. That will be a date time field. And then we'll call this, how about in class? And that will be a yes, no value. So we're going to fill this table in. We've got attendance is just an auto number, the student, the date, and then whether or not they were in class. All right, let's save this table as my attendance table. Again, we're yelled at for no primary key. I almost always forget to hit the key button up here. All right, but that's okay. Save that. Now when we go to look at the data in here, there's nothing in here because we're going to fill this data in with an action query. Let's do that now. Let's make a form now to display our students. So forms, new. I'm going to go with auto form tabular. Pick students as my data source. All right, there's my quick student form. Okay, I just took a few seconds off camera to clean this up a little bit give it some color and make things look a little better. But now I've got my ID, my student, and I've just changed the label up here. So instead of temp attendance, it said in class. All right. Now, I can go down here on a daily basis and check off who is in class. Let's say Mark and Tom skipped class today. Now what I need is an action query to go down and take a look at each one of these guys and append a record onto my history table, my attendance table, that has each one of these records in it plus this value over here plus today's date. So let's make an append query. All right, queries, new, design view. 
what table am I pulling data from? My student table. Close. There's my fields. I'm going to change the query type to append query. I want to add records onto another table. What table? The attendance table. Hit OK. The student ID is going to be appended into the student ID in the attendance table. I don't need the name. And temp attendance is going to be appended into the in class field. Now I also need to store the date. So over here I'm going to come over here and create a new field that I'm going to append into the attendance date. And this is just going to be, let's call it um, today's date is going to be whatever the date is. So you use the date function. Let's save this. I'll call this my append attendance query. And if I run this query now, nothing appears to happen because I have my warnings turned off, which I show you how to do in a one of my access classes. But if you come over here and take a look in the tables now, here's my student data. Here's my attendance data. Look at that. The append query appended one record for each student with today's date in here. See how that worked? Now, you might want to specify the date because you might be entering in all of the attendance information for the whole week at once. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of these records. Are you sure you want to delete them? Yep. What I'm going to do is come back to my form here, design, and in the footer, I'm going to stick down here a unbound text box. So let's pull up my little toolbox here. Here's text boxes. I'll drop a text box down here. We'll call this guy attendance date. And we'll slide that over a little bit. Okay. Open up the properties. I'll give it a name of attendance date. The control source will be blank because it's an unbound field, but I'll make the default value equal to today's date. Okay, I don't want to put a value in here because then I can't change it. And it's not bound to the table. Okay, the default value will be today's date though. And while I'm at it, let's make a button down here to run our query for us. Alright, so I'll hit my command button right here. Drop a command button down here, make sure my wizards are on. I'll come down to miscellaneous, run query, next. I only have one query right now. Next. All right. We'll make um, just make the caption say go and finish. There we go. There's our go button. Okay. Save that. Close that. Now I've got to update my query a little bit. Instead of just putting today's date in here. Hold on. We're not done. Because of YouTube's 10 minute limit on videos, I can't put the rest of the lesson up here. But the rest of this lesson is available for free on my website. Just go to accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube slash attendance to watch the rest of this lesson. Again, this is a free video. Here it is right here, accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube slash attendance. Just scroll down a little bit and you'll find a link right here to the free tips and tricks video for student attendance.